Hi, I'm John with Hornet Cutting Systems, and today I'll be talking about our contour bevel capabilities. It is available on the HD, XD, and Mega Hornet, and also as an option on the Roto 2000. So I'll be going through the process from CAD to nesting to cutting. Okay, now since we have our SolidWorks CAD done, we can either export that as a DXF, but since this is such a simple profile, we can just go straight to ProNest and build it. So we'll go over to our parts list, add parts, and then general rectangle. We'll go in, change it to four by four, which is already there. Um, the other thing to look for is make sure our material is correct. And we are good here, it's mild steel, quarter inch. And then we'll go and add in our bevel. We'll go back to the main advanced edit screen, select all of the outer profiles. And then once we get those selected, we go over to start, change it to a V cut, and then change the angle to 45 degrees. Click apply, that's applied. And then we choose each profile separately, and then we'll click split profile for each one of them. And then once we have that done, we are ready to return to nesting. Save. And once we're back in the nesting screen, we go over to our part list, move it over, see that it's nested correctly. Happy with that. Click output. And this will output our G code. So save it as your test, save it as whatever and then click output. So I'll output the code. Once that's done, we'll take a look at the G code, make sure that it looks good. Now uh, we see everything's in there we want. Happy with that. We're ready to output it to the machine. And then we'll be ready to cut. So here's the finished product. As you can see, it's a full thickness bevel. Uh, this type of part would most likely be used in a weldment, so it'll sit up flush. Um, it could also be used in any other application that just needs a chamfer. So I appreciate you watching. Let's go out and build something great.